Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to review the brand new Algo Laser Alpha 22 Bot Laser Engraver. Without further ado, let's get into it. Algo Laser is a new brand led by one of the original founders of the Orter brand, which intends to offer uh, laser engraving and cutting machines targeted to DIYers, professionals, and small businesses. Now, only time will tell how this brand is going to rank among competition, but from what I can see with their first model, with their first machine, they're starting with the right step. In fact, we see features and details that are usually not found in other laser engraver in the market right now. This is an industrial grade desktop laser engraver with a beautiful and functional design, built-in air assist, a mobile app flying controller, and an intelligent laser module, and is extremely fast. Now, before getting any further, uh, just a quick note, I've received this machine free of charge with a request to review it. However, I'm not being paid by Algo Laser, neither any one of its affiliate, and as usual, I like to keep my video reviews unbiased, therefore, all of the opinion that I'm about to share in this video, they represent my honest opinion about this machine. And as a such, you know, I will share what I like and what I don't like. As usual, I break down my video reviews into different sections, covering most of the aspect of the machine so that I can present everything. Have a look to the timeline or in the video description below and jump to the section of your interest. Now, starting with the assembly, the machine comes partially pre-assembled with all the wiring and hair hoses nicely pre-routed in the profiles. And it's very simple to put all the pieces together. Now, the instructions are very nice and simple to follow. However, to make the process faster, I suggest laying down all of the profiles in the correct position and orientation. Then you can simply slide the profile, which holds together without fasteners. And finally, you can put all the fasteners. The second step required is to tighten all the belts with particular attention to the Y-axis belts, which needs to run parallel. Therefore, uh, the gantry should be all the way to the front of the machine. To do so, I suggest putting the machine upright or upside down so that you can also install the rod. It takes 10 to 20 minutes to get up running. The machine has a cool design. It offers a working area of 400 times 400 millimeter and the red corner plates and element give it a nice sporty appearance. The frame is entirely custom designed with proprietary profiles and railings, and it's very stiff. The machine sits on threaded rubber feet that can be adjusted up and down about a centimeter, and I believe that soon Algo Laser will also sell some extension feet. The machine comes with a bunch of features, starting with the built-in air assist with an onboard control and variable flow rate, which comes in the form of a controller attached to the power cable. This will allow you to make clean cuts from your first project. As for the pump, it is pretty standard, but it's built in air filter and is both quiet and effective. A simple to use mobile based offline controller app that allows you to work offline with a built in 32 gigabytes SD card without a PC connection. The app allows you to work with images, create simple design directly with your phone and handle projects stored in the built-in SD card. So for custom design, save it as a G-code file, upload them into the SD card and then use your smartphone to position frame and launch the projects. Then semi-automatic three-step focusing system which allow you to easily adjust the height of the laser module and a bunch of safety features including fire protection which is built into the laser module tilt protection, an emergency button, a lockout switch, and more. Now, the machine comes with an intelligent quad diode 20 to 22 watt laser module with an advanced second generation COS optical technology, which in simple terms compresses a spot and makes it squarer, which increases the effectiveness of the laser. The laser module has a bunch of sensor and LID indicators built in, including air assist, fire protection, and lens condition. The module mounts on a clever sliding clamp with a simple lever that allows you to clamp and unclamp the module in a single action. The adjustment of the height is extremely easy. You first lower down the focusing rod located on the side of the laser module, then release the clamp through a simple lever, allow the module to drop so that the rod touches the surface of your material, 
then clamp and click the release button on the side of the laser module to allow the retraction of the focusing rod. The lens is very easy to access and maintain. In fact, all it takes is to unscrew the nozzle and it doesn't require any tool. If you want to know all the specification or the price, or if you are considering buying this machine, I have some discount link in the video description below. Right now, you can get this machine on Gearberry for about $750. Note that these are affiliate links, which means that if you buy through them, I receive a small kickback, which helps keep my channel running. The machine comes with few testing pieces, a nicely arranged toolbox, and a lens replacement kit. All right, let's now get into the capabilities of this machine. As usual, I run my testing to access the performance of the machine using the material that I use the most. And for the testing, I run the machine with the air from the machine provided air pump so that you know exactly what to expect. Now, going ahead with the cutting, three millimeters or one of an inch birch plywood, it cuts cleanly at 500 millimeters per minute, 95% in power. Now, you could go a little bit faster, but you would end up with stringing on the back side, which leave your part with rough edges. And I would conservatively go at no more than 450 millimeters per minute for a good and consistent result each time. I recently acquired six millimeter birch plywood for an upcoming project. Therefore, I thought it would be a good idea to try it out. And the result is clean cut at 225 millimeters per minute, 95% power with the rougher results at 250. Dropping the laser module by a couple of millimeters allow you to go a little bit faster as the focal point gets deeper into the material. Then, three millimeters HDF, good results at 500 millimeters per minute, 95% power, with rougher results at 550 to 600 millimeters per minute. 3.2 millimeters acrylic, single pass 250 millimeters per minute, 90% in power. 3mm thick cartoon, the same material that it's used for food packaging, but much thicker, clean cuts at 550mm per minute, 95% power. As for the maximum depth, setting the height of the laser module to the minimum possible with the shield on, I was able to go through 27mm of pine wood in two passes at 100mm per minute, 100% power. A single pass with the same parameter, cuts about 18.5 millimeters. For the engraving performance, I noticed in the first cutting test, the line engravings were wavy. And after tightening the belts a bit more and lowering down the acceleration in the GRBL configuration, all was good. On birch playwood, as you can see, produces good results all the way up to the advertised top speed of 24,000 millimeters per minute. So you can simply choose the color tone you like and to go for it. Now, I noticed that there isn't much difference in the color tone beyond the 10,000 millimeters per minute. If there is, it's not noticeable. The only difference I feel is the depth of the engraving when passing with my fingernail, which means that the performance is remarkably good. I also tried on MDF and I was able to produce visible results at machine's top speed of 24,000 millimeters per minute with a similar performance to the playwood. I then tackled some real projects with playwood and laminated HDF, and they turned out good enough. Both cuttings and engravings were good and consistent from the first to the last without signs of power drop. All right, let me now tell you what I like, what I don't like, and what I think it should be improved. Starting with the pros. The machine is extremely fast, like no other I've ever experienced so far. I usually jog randomly after I paired the machine for the first time to verify that the controls are good, and I was impressed with how quickly the machine moved. I usually keep my jogging speed at 20,000 for my machines, but this machine looks like moving faster. After a bit of investigation, I found that the top speed set in the GRBL configuration is 30,000 millimeters per minute, and the acceleration, which is what makes the difference here, goes all the way up to a whopping 2,000 millimeters per second square, which is way faster than other machine I've been testing, which usually runs at 400 to 600 millimeter per second square. Overall, the machine looks good and it comes with a USB type C connector. Then built-in air assist and an included variable flow air pump with a filter. The module is powerful and at the same time intelligent and should make your life easier. Plus the removable shield 
is a nice add-on so you can take it off if you're having a hard time seeing the laser while framing especially when trying to frame on reflective materials the machine is quiet and the fans do not run while idling the machine has a built-in offline controller also it requires a smartphone to work however it is very simple to use finally a brand that get it right with the safety goggles not green not red or black orange is the color that you need to protect your eyes from this laser technology something that i think it should be improved the focusing rod which has a single focusing height now while this is fine for engraving onto the surface and should be good enough for most cutting projects with material thicknesses up to a few millimeters you may want to lower down the laser module if you plan on cutting thicker material so that you can maximize the cutting efficiency so it would be great if they would implement a multi-step rod to give you some thicknesses option something else i couldn't find a way to save files to the built-in sd card directly from your pc it seems like for the time being the only option is through the app which means that your custom g-codes should either be transferred to your smartphone or uploaded to a cloud storage like onedrive which can then be accessed directly through the algo laser app in your smartphone this i'm sure it's something that can be easily implemented with some future update now the machine is great so far however if there is something that i need to complain and that i didn't like is the exposed mainboard the mainboard and electronics are exposed inside of the frame which makes it vulnerable to being hit or damaged by a sheet of material it would be good to have some kind of shield larger than the one currently installed or a fully enclosure to protect it all right let me now tell you whether you should buy it consider it or discard it now considering all of the pros and cons that i've discussed in particular the included air pump the intelligent laser module the speed of the machine and also the price which right now is about 750 dollars i would definitely consider all right and this is pretty much all now i hope you found this video helpful informative if you liked it click the thumb up button below if you have any comment with them in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one ciao for now